Okay, so this is going to be really, really terrible, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, <coughs> I've been promising to make a video about this thing for a long time. There's been photos up all over the place for a year and a half. Um, it works. I did it. Uh, this is an animatronic tail that I'm working on just for fun, for stuff, for uh, exploring animatronics and random, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> uh, <coughs> it's running off of 6C batteries, so 9 volts for the motors, but they'll take more, and the controller runs on two 9 volt batteries. This is temporary. So it's on a joystick. Good. Kind of hard to control. Uh, it lacks, it seriously lacks, a feedback system. The motors don't know what position they're in, essentially. So it's all uh, blind control, essentially. Good. Fair amount of flexibility, but of course with the analog and decent PWM, I think you get nice smooth motions out of it as well. Um, inside here is the actual drivers, so I've got logic power indicators on them, and then there's LEDs underneath for each of the motors. So you're going to need a little light show. The spine, essentially, of the, the tail is currently built with dice drilled out one by one on the milling machine. Uh, I hand cut and folded all of those brass pieces as well. The plastic in here, there's actually spring threaded through. So the, wire, the, the pull wires are actually under almost no friction. It, it, they just glide. Uh, the whole system is very fluid and flexible. It's also very strong. Um, it's been sat on, it's been stood on, stepped on, the bubble's been popped open a couple of times uh, from being stepped on. In here there's actually the wire terminators and uh, some more springs to keep the cable tension. In there, um, I know my lighting isn't terrible, in there is all the mechanics, all the pulleys and pull cables and so if I move it that's what does it and again there's more springs inside of here um, to keep cable tension this is metal it's all built to be really strong and using very flexible wire um, all the sewing is done with the very strong nylon thread, so that's good. The drivers are built into this pouch-like thing. Um, there's going to be more of them to contain other electronics I'm adding later, because this thing is going to lose its controller completely. Oof, terrible focus. It's going to lose its controller completely uh, and be controlled by electrodes. It's going to be a whole bunch of these all over the back of this, all over my back. Pick up um, essentially electricity off of muscles and I'm hoping that will be able to control this a little better. Pick up walking gait naturally, um, all that stuff.
but I have to figure out a way to cram either some potentiometers or encoders onto those shafts. What makes it tricky is uh, they rotate several times. So I can't say put a pot directly underneath. I mean, of course, it would get crushed anyway when I sit down. But uh, I could put a pot underneath, but that would limit it to, you know, 270 degrees. These turn three or four times over the full range of motion. So encoders might be the way to go. I don't know. So it, it kind of works. It is wearable. I wore it for Halloween. Um, but it's still definitely a work in progress. Uh, I guess that's all for now.